NCIX Tech Tips. Today we are going to be learning about Spider, which is uh, Spider, which is uh, AMD's new platform, which consists of the AMD Phenom X4 processor, the ATI HD 3800 series video cards, and AMD's brand new 790 series chipsets. So now we're going to be talking about AMD's Phenom CPU, which I am now holding in my hands. Basically, the features of the Phenom are primarily going to be HyperTransport 3 capabilities. It supports higher speed DDR2, 1066 versus DDR2, 800 over the last generation. And it also supports Cool and Quiet 2 technology. Now the Phenom itself, the processor that we just covered, is an exceptional piece of engineering technology. True quad-core design and all that jazz. However, it doesn't do much of anything without an optimal platform to put it on. AMD's new 790FX motherboard. So an appropriate platform for this would be the 790FX series, which features such things as HyperTransport 3.0, DDR2-1066. It's also compatible with AMD's new OverDrive software, which is going to offer an unprecedented level of tweaking options for memory and for CPU and video cards on the 790FX platform. One thing that we didn't cover about the 790FX chipset is that it supports PCI Express 2.0. What PCI Express 2.0 means is double the bandwidth over the older PCI Express 1 standard. You also do have backwards compatibility, so you can use a PCI Express 2.0 motherboard with an older video card and vice versa. Also, you get Crossfire X capabilities, which means that if you were to use ATI's new HD3800 series video cards, you could have one VGA card for great gaming performance, or you could upgrade and get another one for another significant improvement in gaming performance. Now the 3870s, which are the cards I'm displaying here, support DirectX 10.1, and as well as the new PCI Express 2.0 spec. They offer a dual slot cooling solution, which means that although Crossfire X can scale up to four cards with single slot coolers, you're going to be limited to two cards in most motherboards with these ones. So now that we've covered all the individual components of the Spider platform, this is what the whole thing looks like once you put it all together. So you got the AMD Phenom X4 processor, 3800 series video cards, and 700 series chipset. Now, what AMD is trying to do is design a platform that is built from the ground up around stellar performance when it's used together with other parts of the platform. So by choosing all Spider components, you get DirectX 10.1 from the video cards, you get Crossfire X through support in the chipset as well as in the video cards, you also get true quad-core design with the Phenom X4, you get HyperTransport 3.0 which is enabled by both the processor and the chipset, you also get PCI Express 2.0, and that's the video cards and the chipset in the motherboard. DDR2, 1066 support, which is motherboard and CPU. And I'm kind of rambling here, but the point is that you get all of these benefits by using these components together. You also get support for AMD's OverDrive utility, which is a great little, a great little piece of software, actually. It allows you to do overclocking of the cores of the CPU independently, as well as overclocking of your graphics cards, your chipset, everything. It ties it all in together really well. So what is, what is this good for? It's great for gaming. You've got Crossfire X. It's great for media using Cool and Quiet 2 to keep the heat down, keep the noise down. It also features uh, HDMI via an optional dongle that does come with the video cards. So that'll do your sound and your video through HDMI with your 3800 series video cards. All in all, Spider Platform is a fantastic innovation from AMD. And thank you for watching NCIX Tech Tips.